In our previous video, we understood what regression is and how we can use regression to predict any value of y given the value of x. In this video, we are going to extend that concept and apply it on real data set in Python environment. In this video, we are going to do a lab. We are going to use the air travel data which we already used in our previous session to find the correlation also. Then we are going to find correlation between two variables which are promotional budget and the number of passengers. Then we will plot a scatter plot between promotional budget and passengers and validate our correlation. And then next we will try to build a model which this model will allow us to predict with the random value of promotion budget which is 650,000 how many passengers can be expected that week using this amount of promotion budget and if time permits we are going to build the same regression line and regression model between passenger number of passengers and intermetro flight ratio so let's get into our spider environment first we are going to import all the important libraries which we are going to require for this session which would be pandas as pd numpy as np and matplotlib to plot our scatter plot and the regression line after importing we are going to import our data set i'm using the read.csv function from python python's pandas library and i'm storing in air named data frame First question in our lab was to find the correlation between promotional budget and passenger count. So this is how we find the correlation coefficient using numpy's core cof function. So we have correlation coefficient of 0.96 which is quite good. Then next we will plot a scatter plot between promotional budget and air passengers which looks like this. So our 95% of correlation coefficient signifies that yes looking at this we can understand that yes there is a linear correlation which is quite high and because all the data points are going in same direction our next question was to build a model which is going to allow us to predict the value of number of passenger given a random value of promotional budget so we need to build a regression model between promotional budget and air passenger we are going to use statmodels.api as sm stat model is a package and we are going to use its api part of this package to build our model so i'll first import this package and then next thing what we are going to do is we will need x and y to fit our regression line our y is passengers and our x is promotional budget i have defined x and y in this format Next thing what we will need to do is we will need to add a constant in our x values. Why? Let us see why. This is our linear regression equation where we have beta naught b multiplied by 1 plus another beta naught which is beta 1 multiplied by x. So this is how our equation is. We have the value of x over here but we don't have any constant for this data frame or this part of x we need to put one over here using this sm dot add constant function so we are going to use sm dot add add underscore constant function which will allow us to add one constant we will check first how x looks like this is our x looks like and we are going to add the constant in it using add constant function and now if we see how our data frame looks like with the constant which is like this we have added one new column which is which has a value of one and this will work for our linear regression fitting next thing we are going to do is we are going to define our model using the formula of sm ols ols is ordinary least square method which we are going to use to build our linear regression model which we are going to fit with y which is the predictive variable value and this is our predictor value which is x1 i'm going to run it and our model has been defined now that our model has been defined we need to run it by using the fit method i will call dot fit function and save it to fitted one because this is our first model that we are fitting now we have saved our model into fitted one which has run and all the calculation it has completed to see how this model's mathematical format looks like or what are the values or what are the other parameters it had generated for us we can use the summary function and if we execute it we would be able to see all the possible values of this model which we will learn in later in our later videos how we can interpret those so this is our 
linear regression model which we have built in python from scratch next part is to draw the regression line now that we have built the regression model we want to see how this regression line looks like so we will use this code which i have written first we will plot the scatter plot which will allow us to draw the base and second line we are going to plot a line line between air promotional budget and all the predicted values which are fitted values from fitted one and i'm giving c is equal to r which will allow me to get the color red in my line i will select this whole two lines and if i execute it i would be able to see a regression line fitting through all my points between air promotional budget and passengers data next part would be in our lab was predicting the value of number of passenger if the promotional budget for a week is 650000 so to do that we are going to use the fitted we are going to call it and we are going to use the fitted method and inside it we are going to put the value of 650000 but we will also give the value 1 which is our constant which we need in our equation and if we execute it you would be able to see that yes the answer is 46453.9 so we can expect 46454 new passengers if we spend 650000 on our promotional budget for that week so congratulations you have completed the first basic step of linear regression you started and you built a linear regression all by yourself and for the practice session we are going to do one next question where you have to build a regression model between number of passengers and intermetro flight ratio you can refer to this code over here but i would suggest you to do this all by yourself